hey Katie, what's going on? It's Josh. So I wanted to follow up on this, right? So I'm on your account here and a couple things that we've done since you've been here is you now have the ability to, when you invite an athlete in the top right, you can invite them to train with you one-on-one -on -one or with a team or group, right? So it sounds like what you're gonna be doing is one-on-one, -on -one, right? So I'd hit next, you can invite them. And even when somebody's just gotten the invite, you can begin programming on their personal calendar. So under athletes, you can program, let's say for Chris, as an example, you can jump on here and actually program for Chris. So the best workflow is actually to go into your library on the left-hand side and design training plans, right? So if here's Chris's plan, then I'm gonna go into athletes and actually put that on his calendar, right? So I go into his athlete calendar, I click in the top right, you can add something from their library, go to your programs, and then you know give Chris a, a training plan. All right, hey, let's start this on the 28th, hit okay, add to his calendar. You can always adjust this stuff in real time, but at least it's on the calendar, okay? You know, again, if I wanted to adjust, I could highlight, you know, unpublish, move things around, let's give them this on Monday and Wednesday, right? And then publish. So I'll come here, publish. All right, so a couple small things. Then I wanted to jump into the actual app to, to show you how you can log training for your athletes. All right, Katie, so okay. this is me just cool. holding my phone in my hand, right? So yeah. I'm gonna click on the app and you're gonna find your own training profile. Okay, so here you are. Now, if you click in the top left, and only you'll have access to this as a coach, but all of your athletes are going to show up here. All right, so if it's Chris, I'm going to click Chris, and now I'm on his calendar. Okay, so I can go to the 28th, or I can click on the 30th, right? If I was training him and I needed to see what he did last week, I might scroll to last week to look at that, right? But importantly, on the 28th, I can go and log for him. I might skip through the readiness survey, log a certain movement, adjust weights, reps, all of these things. I mean, I can take notes. Let's say you're getting on the bench press and you realize that, hey, there's no barbell available in the gym. I can actually click here on the right-hand side and make a make a note. We're gonna soon have the ability to swap out an exercise so you can kind of make real-time adjustments. So there's much more to come on the mobile side of things. For the first time ever, you can add sets in if we needed to do extra or remove sets. So there's quite a bit there, but now you can log for them. This same functionality exists on their account too. So your remote athlete can do these same things, adding, removing sets and whatnot. And then you're gonna get all that data back as a coach. So hope this stuff helps. Sorry for the long-winded um, video here. Have an awesome day, Katie.